Hi. Well, here we are in Rimrock, Arizona. We're trying to finish off our house. If you look up here, you can see, I'm getting this done, but you can see where it's kind of a mess. And we have since fixed the roof so it doesn't look so bad anymore. And we're adding panels. We're putting frames in, and we're adding panels. So I'm, every panel has to be custom fit. And then eventually we'll put big sheets on the patio after we run the wiring for lights. Someday we'll do that too. But we didn't do this for years because the roof leaked. And so we finally replaced the roof last summer. Daniel and I got on the roof and we ripped off the old roof, put on a new roof. Now it doesn't leak anymore. So Daniel's a good roofer now. So what I'm doing here, besides poking myself in the finger, is I'm cutting all these panels. Fit. Each one has to be cut exactly to fit in the hole. And so I got this one. Finally, I think it's going to fit. And I got, I put all the screws in it, and I run it up, and I screw it up in the hole. But it's a lot of work, pain in the neck, a lot of steps. But you have to cut all this wood anyway. And I want it to fit right, so. I'm doing it myself. How about that? That's pride, isn't it? Yeah, it's pride. Oh no. Anyway, we're almost ready to put this one up. I was putting one in, I slipped and kind of zapped myself with the tip of the screwdriver. Okay. Now this one's got all the screws in it. If I get it right. It's going to hole, and then I can tighten it up. We got all the screws in. We put the boards up there, the little strips, furring strips before. Hope this is hope this is where it fits. Hope this is the one that goes here. Hmm. That's right. That's right. Hmm. Press fit. See that? Now we just take this and we screw these in. And then we'll hold this up. Well, it's almost perfect. Look at that. We'll average it up between the two edges. That's what we'll do. A little bit of it. So I try to get them to fit pretty close. Anyway, this is what you do when you want to sweat. You see, Daniel's a. <laughs> He's a movie director. The sweating cameraman. And then I I dropped my screwdriver today and broke the handle. But can't let that stop you. You just gotta keep going. Should use a little duct tape on it. I'm gonna take it apart and glue it tonight. Oh, okay. Did be well. I get it. May not do it. I need probably need a new one anyway. So we have a. Uh, I mean, I've been using this for probably 15 years. Had one new battery, one new charger, and then I dropped it, and I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> now I got an excuse to buy a new one. Here's another one. Anyway, so now I've got to cut and measure. I want to at least do that one. Fill in that hole. It looks like I've gotten some iron. I've got one down there, and uh, that's what it's like up in Rimrock, Arizona, on a, on a Labor Day weekend. So I'm laboring and uh, and giving the glory to God, because we want God to get the glory out of this place. We want people to come here and sense the peace of God and sense the difference there is here, like in our prayer garden over there. We've got a prayer garden and private places where you can spend uh, time with the Lord, and uh, it's quiet, peaceful, and no one else can see you, and you can sit and look at Sedona. 
see the beautiful red rocks over there all different times of the day. And, uh, and you can pray, and you can meditate on the Word of God, and you can let it soak in, and you can just sense the peace, the peace. So we're grateful. We don't live in Phoenix anymore with all the with all the helicopters over our house and people stealing our car and uh, people jumping over our fence. This is up here. We can see the stars. You can see the Milky Way. It is beautiful up here. So you need to move to Rimrock, Arizona. You see, we're on top of a mountain. And uh, God has blessed us with this place. And we just love it here. So we've been fixing this. has been a fixer-upper. We've been fixing up for 12 years. And uh, I don't know if we'll ever finish, but that doesn't matter. We love it here, and we love the Lord. And Jesus, he saved our souls and made us whole. And you can't ask for anything better than that. Amen. Amen. So this old house theme song there to finish it off. And that wasn't Bob Vila, but that was dead. So thanks for watching.